Bringing a new dog into your life is thrilling, but it can also be a confusing time. What do you do when there are so many breeds to pick from? Of course, many individuals are drawn to particular breeds because they are appealingly adorable or because they have good memories of a certain breed. Those are factors to consider. However, you should also consider how easy they are to train, how big they will grow, and how much care and exercise they require. And all of these things we especially break down for you on this channel. Although all dogs bark, some are prone to bark more than others. It's simply their method of communicating with us. Albeit, some puppies are yappier than others for a reason. Have you ever wondered which dog breeds bark the most? Hi, welcome to Dog Joy. Stay tuned to learn more about the top most incredibly noisy canines and why they bark so much. Number 10 on the list is the Maltese. The Maltese are a friendly and courageous dog breed that greets everyone as a friend. Their opulent white coat gives them the appearance of pompous aristocracy, yet appearances can be deceiving. Even though they are purebred canines, they may end up in shelters or rescue organisations. Always consider adopting. If you want to bring a dog home, don't go shopping. This is a vivacious, energetic dog who excels as a companion, therapy dog and contender in canine sports such as agility, obedience, rally and tracking. But most of all, they like spending time with their loved ones. These puppies will make terrific furry family members for even inexperienced pet parents and condo dwellers. The small Maltese, a lovely ball of fluff, is one of the most popular pets among apartment residents. With a lively bark and a wagging tail, they will welcome everyone you know and those you don't with a cheerful greeting. They are hypervigilant and want to make it clear to any intruders that they will have to deal with them. Unfortunately, this frequently results in them barking in the middle of the night. If you don't keep a strong grip on this one, he'll rule the roost. Number 9. The Poodle Poodles are available in three sizes. Miniatures should be no more than 15 inches tall at the shoulder, while standards should be no more than 10 inches tall. The structure and proportions of all three types are identical. Poodles are commonly seen at dog shows in the elegant continental clip. The sporting clip, in which the coat is sheared to match the form of the squarely built, smoothly muscled body, is preferred by the majority of pet owners. Forget whatever preconceived assumptions you may have about poodles, poodles are enthusiastic, athletic and wickedly intelligent canines with a wide range of abilities. The standard with his superior size and strength is the family's best all-round athlete, but other poodles can be successfully trained. As mentioned, there are three typical sizes, toy, miniature and standard. It's one of the most popular breeds in the world. Although each poodle is unique, all three sizes are prone to barking. They are readily disturbed and will make noise to indicate that they are worried or in treat. Some of them utilize barking to control their humans, making them an extremely intelligent breed. They appear to suggest, if I bark, my people will come. This can be a problem if the poodle is left alone for long periods of time. Number eight, the Fox Terrier. Why are Fox Terriers are a close relative of the Smooth Terrier. Smooths, like their crispy coated cousins, are just 15.5 inches tall at the shoulder. Aside from coat type, the skull of a Smooth differs from that of a wire in that it is more V-shaped. The white coat is dense and flat, with black, tan or black and tan patterns. These deftly crafted hunters are tough and durable, yet never clumsy or coarse. They move with the steadfast grace of a pendulum clock, being short-backed and symmetrical. This small dog, which was bred to hunt, is a lovely friend and is ideal if you need a four-legged alert. His natural prey drive means he'll be on the lookout for anything to chase and bark at all the time. If you wish to spend your life with this rambunctious terrier, be aware that you will need to be consistent and prompt with his training. The fox terrier can be trained to be less barky with the correct owner. Number seven, the miniature Schnauzer. Another terrier breed that can be particularly yappy is this entertaining character. They are excellent watchdogs who will bark if provoked in any way. It can be difficult to train a miniature Schnauzer to be quiet, but it is possible and well worth the effort. Once you've persuaded them that you're the family's alpha, he'll be a lot more willing to let you do the talking. Number six, the West Highland White Terrier. Here's a slew of vitality encased in a blanket of pure white. Westies make great family dogs because they want to be a part of whatever you do. As a result, he assumes you want to know everything he sees, hears, smells or encounters in any other manner, and he informs you of this by barking. To him, everything is an adventure, and his proclivity for vocalising about the world around him indicates he wishes to share it with you. Start training a Westie when it's young if you want a calm Westie. Number 5. The Yorkshire Terrier the tiny Yorkie appears to come into the world barking. 
From the outset, this lovely puppy has a tendency to establish himself and jump into the melee whenever something is going on. He, like the Chihuahua, has an inflated sense of self and will bark at anything that enters his domain. When he's thirsty, tired, anxious, hungry or drowsy, he'll let you know. Anything, in fact, can be an opportunity for his little voice to be heard. Number 4. The Siberian Husky the Husky is a beautiful wolf-like creature who is full of activity and enjoys getting engaged. Because the breed was created to pull sleds over the ice and snow, he needs a lot of exercise to stay healthy. Because he likes to play, the Husky might bark more than other breeds. To him, barking sounds like toddler conversation, and he wants to speak to you. Another feature of this charming but noisy species is their tendency to howl, especially when two or more are around. This is surely their wolf-like nature instinctively coming out. Number 3. The Corgi The Welsh Corgi is noted for barking, yet there are quiet and reserved members of the breed. A booming bark was a huge benefit in his career because his eager little dynamo was bred to hurt animals many times his size. Early socialisation and training can help regulate his natural tendency to vocalise his ideas, making him a terrific breed in an apartment or on the farm. Owning a Corgi necessitates a lot of exercise, which may assist with the loudness. Number 2. The Beagle the popular Beagle is a high-energy dog who enjoys hunting and running around. He's known for being a thoughtful and expressive buddy. Barking or wailing is one of the most common ways he expresses himself. He's always on the lookout for something to chase, whether it's a squirrel, a cat or a ball. He'll tell you all about it because he was raised to hunt. Beagles don't enjoy being left alone, and if you neglect them for too long, they may express their dissatisfaction. Number 1. The Chihuahua this adorable puppy has the ultimate Napoleon complex. Despite being one of the tiniest breeds, weighing in around 7 pounds, they appear to be much larger, a massive dog dressed in a little suit. They can be exceedingly boisterous due to their inherent belligerence towards other dogs and their possessiveness over their house and people. Not only will they bark at any provocation, but they also seem to bark at nothing too. Loneliness and boredom can cause this uncontrollable barking. Barking is an unavoidable part of owning a dog. They go hand in hand or paw in hand, as the case may be. Some breeds, on the other hand, are simply more vocal than others. If you live in an apartment, condo complex or housing development, you should try to avoid dogs that bark excessively or train them well when young. What's more, they bark a lot. If you live in an apartment, you may have to compromise for a quiet breed or risk provoking your neighbour's wrath. However, if you live in a house or, more specifically, in the country, a little barking may be one of the reasons you want a dog in the first place. After all, your pet can alert you to strangers on your property or things that aren't quite right. So, is there a yappy dog you know of that's missing from our list? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it, share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button before you go. We thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.